All right, I took off my shoes. <laughs> my umbrella's in the car. No. Oh my gosh y'all, I just dropped all the kids off at their little play care place, including Audrey. And it's not because I have anything to do today, they're just staying for a few hours. It's because um, when I'm away doing filming that convention next week, the kids are going to have to come here. And the older kids, Sophie and Gray, love this place. They wish they would come here more. Um, <laughs> Sophie just ate it. But Audrey's never been, and so I needed to one, like fill her, sign her up and bring her shot records and all of that. But two, I just wanted her to go once when I was around to come and help her if she needed it before we threw her in here for a whole day, you know? So anyway, it looks super fun. There's a teacher in the baby room and she's like reading to Audrey. I can see her, it's so sweet. I'm glad this place is really good. I quite know what to do with myself. I need to go get my eyebrows waxed, but I'm not in the mood. Like I don't want to drive all the way over and do that. I don't know. And I don't really have a ton of errands to do or anything. I'm just kind of like, I'll just go enjoy it, I guess. <laughs> I just drove all the way over to the place where I like to get my eyebrows waxed and they're far from my house. And the reason I go to them is because I love them and they always do a good job. And they don't mess up my eyebrows because I like the shape of my eyebrows. In a lot of places, it's like if you don't get someone who knows what they're doing, they'll mess up your eyebrows. And they're not open and they're supposed to open at nine and they're like locked up and I'm like, please. <laughs> Please tell me y'all are just open and late today because if they close, I'll be really sad. Although I should find some place closer to my home y'all because it's becoming like the more kids I've had, the more impossible it gets for me to make it all the way over to this part of town to do it. It's stupid. I think this is just like my wake up call that I've had a good run with these people. I love them. I have supported them. They've supported me, but at this point, we should maybe just move on. <laughs> Look y'all, everything is so clean and tidy. <laughs> I haven't had little, little, little hands building train sets and setting up blocks and causing a ruckus, except Jack. Hey Jack Jack. Hey Jack Jack. There are so many leaves outside. It's kind of gross. But our lawn guy only comes like once a month in the winter. And Plus it's like, our tree literally, I think our tree's literally lost all of its leaves within like a two week time period. Just like, poof. so yeah. Fall here in January in Houston, Texas, y'all. <laughs> That's what it's like. I just need to make sure he comes. I think we're gonna do the Disney side party. I think I'm gonna set the bounce house up as part of it out there. And so um, I wanna make sure to get the yard kind of cleared out. So there's not like crunching through all those leaves, you know what I mean? really creepy looking weather and I mean I, as usual cameras always it picks up a little brighter it blows it out a little but the winds blowing in a kind of a weird way like if you look at the tree up there it's not going in one direction y'all do a little bit of a circular pattern right there so it was my uh, our look at our wind shine let's just blow in a circle that's cool kind of creeping me out I need to go pick up all those balls Kind of creepy looking out there. Let's check the weather, shall we? It's also cold. Oh, man. I checked the temperature last night, and so I put the kids in long sleeve shirts and shorts because it was like, you know, it's been warm. But now I feel kind of, I'm wearing shorts, heck. Now I feel kind of cold though, so I'm worried. Not that it matters, but you know what I mean. I wanted to have a weather alert. Let's go see Jack Jack. 60s, 61 degrees and rainy it says. Ooh, it does not feel like 61 degrees. Oh my goodness. It does not feel like 61 degrees y'all at all. Oh, well, should've put the kids in warmer clothes. Live and learn. Okay. Yeah, so apparently a cold front's coming in. I just saw like tomorrow it's gonna be 
high of 45, but mostly in the 30s. And then back up in the 60s on Saturday. So we saw something coming through. And then just thunderstorms, it says. So that's what that is. Just some sort of cold front. It is too, it is cold. I can tell because I don't have the heater on down here and I turned it on because I was like, I'm cold. You see what happens when the kids aren't here? I talk for like five minutes about the weather. <laughs> it is so gross outside. Now I gotta go get the kids and it's temperatures dropped. And none of us are dressed warm enough, y'all. None of us are. <laughs> so you know what I'm worried about? I'm worried about the kids and going to the bathroom. Not like accidents, because they don't have accidents. But specifically Grayson. My kids, Simeon's kids do, my kids will hold their pee. They'll hold going to the bathroom for so long. And I hate, oh, I don't wanna go out there. I hate the thought of them needing to go to the bathroom and like, I don't know. Sophie's getting over that. Like I, I have to tell her all the time, if you need to go to the bathroom, just ask, just ask. Don't just hold it and be miserable, but Grayson still does that and it worries me. Oh, good lord. Look at that. No, ma'am. Uh-uh. All right, I just took off my shoes. <laughs> my umbrella's in the car. No, wait, wait. Maybe my umbrella's in the house. I think, I think my Mary Poppins umbrella. Maybe it's in the house, maybe it's in the car. Oh gosh, poopy darn it. You know what, it is in the car. Fat lot of good it's doing me there. I have Grayson's fire truck umbrella and I'm going to use it. Okay, we're back. So, they said that Audrey was made for there. <laughs> For, I guess play care or whatever they said she was super happy and playful and interactive and I was like I'd, I figured she would be you just never know like she was totally cool about it all of it so that's good and then of course the older kids had a blast so and then I was worried about them going to the bathroom I was like did you guys remember to take time to go to the bathroom and so we didn't she told me she just she's like I just held it the whole time it's fine I was like it's not fine you gotta go that's how you get UTIs or bladder infections or anything because she's done that before she's gotten them before from holding too long for too long period of time <laughs> But Grayson was like I went twice and I was like, oh, he's the one I was worried about and he was like totally cool about it So anyway, they were all exhausted and then tonight we have Sophie has her uh, ballet tonight And then they're gonna go spend the older kids are gonna spend the night at Grand Nessa's So I told them like they had to have like a rest if not a nap a rest time because they, they all, they were in the car, they were just like this. And I was like, yeah, they're exhausted. Hopefully Audrey goes to sleep because she was so tired. And sometimes she fights it. And then she's like miserable. So hopefully she's sweet. I'm glad she had fun. I'm, you know, she, and the lady that took her from me when I got there, and, and she was the same woman who brought her back to me when I got, when I came to pick her up, was, she had this like really gentle, kind, nature like her just this kindness to her and i was like i get a good feeling from you lady she seemed really nice and audrey was like patting her back so i was like that's good flash flood warning that was so loud please don't wake up the kids please don't wake up the kids It's good that it goes off, but I'm like, <laughs> it, it scared Grayson. I didn't scare him. He was like, what's that? My kids are really intrigued by weather situations. <laughs> Let's go see if the baby is asleep, y'all. I don't hear her. I didn't hear her when I was up there with Gray. Oh, she's not asleep. Dang it. My sweet baby girl went right to sleep. She was sitting up when I came in and was talking to you guys. And she had her little like water cup and she then she just like lay down and grabbed her blanket and curled up and she's just going straight to sleep. I'm glad. She's you know, my kids are my kids are good I have really good sleepers. So 
when they don't sleep, it always throws everything off, like majorly. And so, and she has had her sleep has been messed up this week because of our schedule changing with Sophie's school. So I just did not want it to happen another day. But she willingly and happily just like went to sleep. So it was really good. Mm -hmm.